So in this problem, we're given a region S, kind of. It is the area bound between a sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4, and the right cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals 1. So we want to calculate the integral of 1, but we want to use cylindrical coordinates. So first I'm going to have to change these, kind of figure out what our bounds of integration are. So I'm going to start with x squared plus y squared. So for cylindrical coordinates, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So here, r squared equals 1, which means that r equals 1. And then x squared plus y squared plus 1 is a cylinder, but it's a full circular cylinder. So theta is going to be from 0 to 2 pi, just because it goes all the way around. So I have two of my three bounds, and the, the last one I need is z. So let's try to solve this equation for the sphere in terms of z. So I'm going to sub out, well, let's get started. So I have z squared equals 4 minus x squared minus y squared. And we already did this once. That's going to be just like subtracting r squared. So z squared equals 4 minus r squared. Take the square root, and I'm going to get just z. As a square root of 4 minus r squared. So it's important to keep in mind here that that square root really only covers the top hemisphere. So I'm also going to need a lower bound of negative square root of 4 minus r squared so that I can get the whole sphere in there. So now I have all my bounds and I'm ready to start. The boundary um, conditions for z are the most involved. So I'm going to go ahead and do those first. And since the boundary conditions for z are a function of r, I'm going to go ahead and do r next. So when r equals 1, we can really think about it being from 0 to 1, right? Because the circle goes all the way out. And then theta last. And the function I'm integrating is just 1. So essentially, I'm finding the volume of s. I'm doing dz, dr, d theta. And keep in mind that when we're doing integration in cylindrical coordinates, we have to add an r. So this really becomes r. So to integrate r with respect to z, I'm just going to get rz. And then I want to evaluate that from the negative square root of 4 minus r squared to the positive square root of 4 minus r squared. Okay, so I'm going to go and plug that in. So now I want to subtract. But since this is a negative, it's really just going to be like adding. And then these are like terms, so I can combine them. So I've got 2r square root of 4 minus r squared. So I'm going to go ahead and use u substitution to integrate with respect to r. So let me erase some of this. So I'm going to say u equals 4 minus r squared. And 
That means finding du. So the 4 goes away, and I'm left with negative 2r dr. And don't forget, when I do use substitution on a definite integral, I'm going to need to change my bounds. So I don't have to worry about theta, since there are no thetas over here. But I do need to worry about r. So I'm going to do the bottom condition first, where r equals 0. So ooh, what am I doing? 4 minus 0 equals 4. So that's going to be my lower bound. Now let's work on the upper bound. Here it was r equals 1. So now let's solve for u. Data tags along. And now this part becomes a square root of u. And then du equaled negative 2r dr. So I've got a dr and a 2r. But that negative sign's still with me. I'm going to pull it out in front. Nice and big so that I'll remember it. OK. So move this a little closer. And now we're ready to integrate with respect to u. So the square root of u is like u to the 1 half. So when I integrate that, I'll get 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. And I'm evaluating that from u equals 4 to u equals 3. So let's do 3 first. 3 to the 3 halves is like the square root of 3 to the third. So 3 root 3. And immediately something cancels out. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. It would just be 2 root 3. And now I want to plug in u equals 4. So the square root of 4 is 2. To the third is going to be 8. So minus 16 thirds. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to theta. So these are both constants. So I'm just going to get theta times everything when I integrate. I'm going to go ahead and switch their order, which will take care of this negative sign. So now I have 16 thirds minus 2 root 3. Discovered my negative sign. So now I'm ready to evaluate. So I'm going to go from theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. Start by plugging in 2 pi. And then for theta equals 0, 0 times this is just going to be 0. So rewrite a little bit. 4 thirds pi. times 4 minus, don't mind me, 8 minus 4 root 3. And it's kind of ugly. Ooh, 3 root 3. That's what I get for not having my calculator handy. This is our answer.